welcome to another video in the Getting Started with Shell Examining Forms series. This uh, was where we left off in the last video. If you want to see how we implement this, you can check uh, our video called Implementing Shell Examining Forms 4.0. The link will be in the description below. Now, in this video, what we'll be looking at is Xamarin Form Shell Navigation. Before we get started, subscribe to this channel, like this video, help us to reach our 1000 subscribers goal. Thank you very much for doing that, we really appreciate it. Okay, let's get started. Now, this was where we left off in our shell, app shell, uh, the Xamarin, and um, what I'm going to do now is to set up our menu for navigation. So what I'll do is, is I'm bringing in a code snippet that I've written. I just changed some things uh, in this snippet and I will explain it. Okay, uh, two, para two attributes uh, change in each of our menu item and that is the command. We've added a command attribute and the command parameter attribute. Now this command is set is binding to a navigate command which you're going to create uh, these other two are also uh, binding to the navigate command uh, but this last one is binding to a settings command i want to use that, that to demonstrate different uh, navigation method that we have uh, in shell okay so the next thing i'm going to do is in our hub dot uh in our hub shell dot xaml dot cs the first thing we want to do is that we want to register our routes so to do that uh, we want to first of all put our uh, the, the list of our routes in a dictionary so i'm going to bring this in what we are doing here is declare a dictionary of a string and type the string will be the key and the type will be the page that we want to navigate to so uh, down here going to declare a method that's going to handle the registration of our routes so go i'm going to call it uh, register register routes and right there the first thing we, we, were, we, are, we are going to do is to hide all our routes into this um, dictionary so we're going to do something like this routes.hard we're going to uh, give it a key we have articles and goes to the articles page i'm going to copy this and paste four times uh, we have the photos photos and it goes to the photos page we have the project projects and it goes to the projects projects page and we have settings that goes to the settings page all right so the next we're going to do in this method is we're going to look through our dictionary and register uh, our routes so we say for each for each item in our routes we are going to make use of the routing class so routing let's register route and we're going to pass in the routes that is in our item dot key then the route factory will be item dot value which holds the page that we want to navigate to okay now that this is done the next thing we want to do is uh, we want to create uh, the command for this for all this binding so we have to create two commands uh, so let's come up here and uh, say public I command I 
i command let's call it na vgate command let's solve this navigate command and let's set it to a new command and this takes a method an action and uh, you know, our action uh, let's call our action navigate navigate okay so let's generate our method navigate method and in this method this method takes a parameter this object let's call it route and this will be the route that is coming from our command parameter here this will be the parameter that will be passed to the method so we'll call it route and uh, the first thing we want to do is let's get hold of the current states of our shell and uh, we say shell navigate uh, shell navigation states shell navigation states let's put it in a real object called state and let's assign the current state of our shell shell dot current dot state that's current state then what we want to do is we want to uh, go to uh, the current page and uh, let's start with this I'm going to put this uh, I'm going to change this because of the await let's change to async and make it of that type of task so I'm going to await this, say await shell dot current dot go to async and uh, we want to pass in the, the URL uh, we're going to navigate to so we're going to do some string formatting here let's say um, we want to first of all get our current location then we had our route so our current location will be here so get it in our states object state dot location then here we will add our route to hit we'll convert it to string we say route dot to string because we know that it's actually string that is coming from our command parameter then the last thing we want to do is um, we want to say because this is coming from the fly out so we want to hide the fly out after after uh, clicking on the menu so we say shell dot current dot fly out Fly out is presented. I will set it to false. Sync void. I should take care of it. Okay. So that is the first uh, method for our navigation. The second uh, command that I want to create, uh, which is the settings command the settings command and um, we're going to follow the same process say public i command equals settings command i will set it to a new command um, let's say um, in command we should recall the name of the command now and say push push page push page 
then here let's resolve this by generating our method um i'm going to implement this in a new way push page uh, let's say this takes uh, a page it's a page page and um to change this to sync of task and uh, here we're going to say await shell dot current dot navigation dot push async I get to pass in a page then the next thing we are going to do is um, remove the fly out so I'm going to copy this and paste I have to uh, modify this uh, to something different so I'm going to do um, something like this um, uh, Say await and call the push page to put a sync. Sync, then await push page and let's pass a new instance of the settings page. I have so much value for this here, I believe. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so I think I'm missing one. Okay, so we have this. We've set up our navigation. So let's run this and see how our navigation. Will behave. So we have it here. Let's bring it to our side. Bah. And um, let's go to the articles page. Okay. Okay, so clicking on this, I uh, will notice that this is not working. And um, let's go and fix it. Now, there's one last thing that we uh, we forgot. Uh, there are two things that we did not do here. The first thing is that we didn't, we did not uh, register our routes. So let's come here and say register routes. So first, this will register our routes. Then the second thing we want to do is because we are using a binding here we have to set the binding context of this half shell you can do that by adding a new view model but since we we have all our commands already in the code behind here so we're going to do binding context so we'll do binding context equals this okay so let's run it now. Okay, let's open our drawer and click on articles. So I say welcome to articles. Uh, this uh, so go back, go back to dashboard, bring out the drawer, let's click on photos. We have an exception when we click on our photos. Let's try to quickly look at it. Something must be wrong in. Um... Oh, we we have this set to home and we did not register it. So let's make it photos and let's run it. So let's see. 
be able to navigate to our photos page so i can show you the last thing that we have for this video okay so we're able to go to our photos page now if you look here even though we've, we are back in uh, we, we are navigated to a, a different page. What I want to show you is that this tab is still showing here. Or well, if we go, let's go back and let's uh, bring out our uh, fly out and let's go to the settings page. The settings page also is having this bar. So uh, you can use different ways to navigate to uh a different page like i showed you it's going to give you a similar uh, result if you look at it this settings command and this navigate command they all they are uh, we implement them in two different ways uh, one is using the push async and the other one is using the current state now to quickly show you on this page you see that we have our we have our own hamburger menu let's hook it up and let's hook up the back button page and we are done for this video so quickly let's go to our settings page where do we have it here so let's just say let's undo click let's give it a new event and right here let's go to the definition and this is how you go back to a page just say shell dot current current dot navigation that's pop i think uh you can add animation to it say true well hamburger menu you see here this is what defines our menu here we have image and a source what i'm going to change it to is i'm going to change it to an image button you can undo the click uh event so say click and let's give it a new event let's go to the definition of this of this event and uh, this is how you how you bring out the fly out so we say uh, shell dot current dot fly out is presented and you set it to true let's test okay so let's bring out our Okay, let's go to the settings page now we are in our settings page we click back it takes us back to this page then uh, let's go to our profile page here now if you select this we have our um we have our apply out all right thank you very much for watching this video if you have enjoyed this video please like it by giving it a thumbs up and also please subscribe to this uh, channel help us to reach our 1000 subscribers go thank you very much for subscribing and i will see you in the next video